Hey, I'm Dr. Brian Aguirre. I'm a prosthodontist at Denver Restorative Dentistry. And in this video, we're going to demonstrate how we take a centric relation bite with a leaf gauge. So we have a few different ways of capturing this uh, bite registration. Um, a couple of them are patient guided and a couple are operator, operator guided. So the operator guided methods are would be your chin point guidance or your bilateral manipulation. And then we have um, a leaf gauge or a lucid jig, which is more patient guided um, for capturing the position of the mandible. So the first thing I do is I generally start off with about half of the stack of the leaf gauge, right about so. And I have the patient open, put a bite together, and I'll have her slide forward and all the way back. And the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have enough clearance. Depending on how much of a discrepancy she may or may not have from centric relation to her MIP will generally dictate how many leaves will be necessary. So from here, about half a stack, I can see she's pretty well open. We generally want it about anywhere from one to three millimeters of thickness of our bite registration material so that we have a rigid Bite, bite together, slide forward, and slide back. And right about here, I'm kind of happy, I see about a millimeter and a half, two millimeters on the back. I will then grab, I use a Miller's forcep and an articulating paper, and I want to have her bite together, and slide forward, all the way back. And you can see here that the paper passes through on her right side, open, bite together, and slide forward all the way back and it's not capturing anything on the left side either. So generally we'll let the patient um, deprogram for a few minutes um, kind of being cognizant of whether she starts to develop some muscle pain around the joint. So I'll generally ask the patient are you starting to feel any tension or tenderness in this area right over here um, where she will hopefully say no and for the sake of this demonstration we'll assume that her joints and her muscles are healthy. So one thing to take into account is as she is deprogramming and the condyles or the mandible starts to seat um, in a more upward position, the posterior teeth can begin to touch. So right before you take your re registration, you want to check that one more time. I'm going to open, bite together for me, slide forward and back. See, I can see now she's slightly holding this paper. So I'll have you open. I'm going to add a couple more leaves just to make sure she's open. And slide back together, slide forward, and all the way back. And kind of just moderate pressure. There we go. And open, bite together, slide forward, all the way back. And good. So we know we're clear now. So the last thing we, you want to do just to verify that you are in that centric relation position is to low test. So what you're doing is kind of driving the condyle, if you would, into the joint, into the socket. And you ask, is that causing any tension or tenderness mm -mm. in your joint? Good. So one more side note is if this bite is to be taken for fabrication of a night guard, Generally, I will add more leaves to it, and I like to generally have my night guards be about a millimeter and a half to two millimeters at its thinnest point. So I would open up the leaf gauge to a point where she has about that much space in her posterior teeth, and then the bite is taken at that exact vertical and mounted at that vertical so that the, there's no closure of the um, articulator. And that really, in our experience, um, decreases uh, chair time at delivery because you're not changing any position of the um, of the articulator and fabrication of the night guard. So generally the rule of thumb according to some literature is to have the patient deprogram like so for about eight minutes. You know, another thing during those eight minutes is you can have the patient go in and f um, bite together with the masseter for about six seconds and then have a relax. More so more. having her bite together for those six seconds is allowing her masseter to activate and allowing the lateral pterygoids to relax.
in an effort to decrease any spasms that may be occurring in the lateral pterygoids. So once we have her in her vertical dimension that we want her to be in for the bite registration, we generally use a fast setting bite registration material. In this case it is Futar Fast from Kettenbach. Uh, but you can certainly use some waxes to uh, take this bite registration as well. So the first thing I do is I will kind of demonstrate to the patient what I'm going to be doing. So I will kind of do a dry run. So what I do is I would remove the leaf gauge, demonstrate to the patient we're going to have you open, we're going to squirt some material on the tops of your lower teeth, and we're going to have you bite back together, slide forward, all the way back, and we'll have her hold that back position while the material sets for about, it's about 30 to 45 seconds. So I'll go ahead and open. All right, bite together and slide forward and all the way back. Good. At this point, I'll verify that we have enough bite registration material to capture what we need. I do think I need a little bit more. There we go. Good. So after 45 seconds, our material has set. So at this point, you can either keep your two bite tabs separate, or you can pull the leaf gauge out and fill in the remaining void in the front if you wanted it to be one piece. I do prefer it to be two pieces because it does facilitate easier trimming of the bite registration material after um, in the lab. Open. So you can see here we have roughly about two millimeters thickness of our bite registration material. And uh, you want to look at it, the main thing you want to look at is make sure you don't have any burn through. If you see any burn through where it looks too thin in some area, you may want to go back, add some more leaves, and retake your bite registration.